out of the current tax regime where you got a deduction for life insurance premium and you are now going to move to a new regime where you will not get such a deduction, then obviously money which is going only for tax purposes will not go. And that is a very, very substantial number, the amount of deduction which is going under Section 88, etc. So that's one mm. part. And second is this entire proposition that if you have taken insurance policy for which the annual premium is more than rupees 5 lakhs, then if, when you get back that money, it will be treated fully as taxable income. <clears throat> So that makes another thing. So the high value policies which were taken by people, which ostensibly the government believes is not really an insurance policy, but a savings policy, mm -hmm. the income coming back, the money coming back to you being income taxable, which would mean that people will not go for those high value policies. These are the two things which are likely impacting insurance companies. Do you think companies. people will move in a significant way to the new tax regime? Is this is I would think so. I is, would very much think so. This is clearly Just imagine yeah. that you're going first of all exemption two and a half to three mm. almost till seven lakhs you don't end up paying any taxes at all mm. uh, e everything is moving towards so the government is just prodding everybody to go in that direction mm -hmm. and looks like people will go there and she said that up until seven lakhs I think you don't pay any Absolutely. tax right. because Absolutely. you have an exemption which is higher plus you have the other deductions correct. like standard correct. Deduction. Correct. okay uh, Mr. Uh, uh, I mean Ashok if you can explain this capital gains and, uh, uh, you know, the uh, disadvantage to NBFCs again, I think that was missed out. So let me talk about capital gains first. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, the law provides that if you have, you, if you divest and have a capital gain, regardless of the amount of capital gain, and you invest <coughs> that gain into a residential property, then you are fully exempted from that gain. Mm -hmm. So let's take a simple example of 